Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. Jeanette Gochi of Manitoba Agriculture joins us here on uh, Real Agriculture. And Jeanette, there's been lots of excitement about and buzz about plant growth regulators in, in wheat. And one in particular, Manipulator, was registered a couple of years ago. But there are still export issues that growers need to be aware of as we get into that time of year for, uh, for 2016. Absolutely. And we are closing in uh, with uh, some of the wheat is, is absolutely getting to that stage where we would be seeing some applications being made. And uh, guys are choosing to. Um, but it is important to note that um, those, those uh, MRLs still haven't been established in the U.S. market. Um, so it's the same situation as last year, essentially. Elevator companies will be expecting a, a declaration that, it, that you haven't applied it? And it's a little bit unclear at this point. Um, and I think it's, it's better to err on the side of caution and talk to your grain buyer now rather than later. Um, it seems like overall the association has come out and said that you know they they are going to protect um, themselves and, and against these MRL issues and and so they really are putting these things on the declaration. They want everyone to be upfront. Uh, we don't have a good segregation segregation system here in Canada, um, but my understanding is that there may still be a few buyers out there that will be accepting it. So again, uh, before making that application. Uh, best to talk to your grain buyer. That's what it comes down to now. In the yeah. coming weeks, talk to your grain buyers, potential buyers, whether they'll they'll be taking it. Absolutely, because uh, after the year that we've had, you know, you've put all that work in, getting your crop off, there's nothing worse than having a crop stuck in the bin. Mm -hmm. That nobody wants. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for your time, Jeanette. Perfect. Perfect.